Hi, I'm Paul Henry. I'm City Archivist for Ottawa. Our staff uh, would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the new home of the Central Archives and the Ottawa Public Library Materials Centre located here at 100 Tallwood Drive. We hope to provide insight into the role of the archives and introduce you to the features of our new facility. I hope you enjoy the following video and we look forward to seeing you and helping you with your research, whether it is to address a business need or discover your Ottawa heritage. Thank you. The 92,000 square foot building consists of three floors, of which 75% is dedicated to the Central Archives. The building was designed to meet the Energy and Environmental Standards of LEED certification. To prevent damage to archival records and artifacts, building materials and installation techniques that minimize off-gassing were used. The City of Ottawa Archives employs six archivists responsible for acquiring, arranging, and making the collections publicly accessible. The Archives collects both the City of Ottawa civic records and the records of private individuals and organizations. The holdings include everything from paper, film, artifacts in our Mayor's gift collection, to modern electronic documents. The earliest records date back to the late 1600s. Archivists assess records for their historic or evidentiary value to determine their long-term archival value and maintain the original order of the records. Without context, a single photograph may have little interest. However, if it is one of a series of photographs documenting a place, event, or people within an identified time period, it may have historical value. Here is an album which provides a visual narrative of Ottawa. There are two 10,000 square foot textual materials vaults kept at 18 degrees Celsius and 45% relative humidity. They have a combined capacity of 32 kilometers of records. The archives collection consists of 20 kilometers of records, including close to 3 million photographs, only 7% of which has been transferred to the new vaults. Two smaller vaults, one for art and artifacts, and one for photographs, are kept at 18 degrees Celsius and 50% relative humidity, and 6 degrees Celsius and 35% relative humidity, respectively. We expect to spend the next five years transferring the bulk of our collection from our four off-site storage locations. Much of the work involved in transferring these records, physically processing, rehousing, storing and tracking them will be done by the archives assistants. For preservation purposes, related records may be physically separated. Accession numbers and box numbers are assigned and shelf locations tracked to ensure easy retrieval and the identification of related records. New records arriving at the archives are deposited in the triage room, where they go through a screening process to ensure there are no contaminants, such as insects or mold, that would damage our holdings. If a contaminant is found, the records are placed in our quarantine room and the conservator is notified. Predominantly, records are physically processed by the assistant archivist. Outdoor pollution is removed from the air before entering the vaults and constantly refreshed to prevent the negative impacts of contaminants. The vaults are designed to keep conditions stable for an extended period of time, even during loss of power or a catastrophic event. The fire suppression system is wet pipe, the most cost-effective means of providing fire protection in a space this large. Our conservation lab is the domain of our full-time conservator, Sylvia Kindle. 
Hello, my name is Sylvia Kindle. I'm conservator for City of Ottawa Archives, and I'm in charge of the preservation and conservation of the collection at the archives. This includes uh, housing, environmental controls, storage, exhibition, transport, to ensure the safety of the collection. And as well, it includes the conservation of uh, the collection. And my specialty is works on paper. So as you see, this can include the treatment of works on paper, which of course it's important to include documentation, examination, research on the materials and the treatment itself. Anytime it's outside the scope of paper, I, we subcontract at the archives. In 2010, the archives answered over 9,000 research inquiries, representing over 38,000 research hours. Volunteers contributed approximately 13,000 hours of service to the city across the archives' three branches. With the new building, we expect to serve up to 300% more patrons. Two archive staff provide full-time support to the reference room. Researchers' needs are identified at the reference desk. Compact shelving is used for our library and partner libraries, such as the Ontario Genealogical Society, Ottawa Branch. Tables in the reference room are designed for laptop support and Wi-Fi will be available. Renewable materials were used throughout the building. In the reference room, we see the use of bamboo for the walls and recycled cork for the floor. There are microfilm readers available and private research rooms for groups such as Algonquin College students. The processing rooms, digitization lab, and conservation lab on the ground floor have been designed to allow the public to view behind the scene activities. As part of the archives outreach program, the building has an exhibit gallery in which exhibits documenting Ottawa's heritage and arts are maintained on a rotating basis. On an annual basis, two exhibits will feature archival holdings. Inscribed on glass throughout the building is a passage from a diary kept by John Burroughs. Burroughs spent the summer of 1827 working as a surveyor on the Rideau Canal. It was selected by the architect to incorporate an element of the archives collection. Above the entrance is a passage written by Samuel de Champlain in the summer of 1613. It is the earliest written description of the Ottawa area by a European explorer. Artist Don Maynard was commissioned to provide the public art outside the building. Archive incorporates a natural garden and stainless steel sculpture in a thematic hole. A house appears to float 20 feet off the plaza, tethered by ropes and anchored by granite and limestone boulders. Archive speaks to the challenge and importance of preserving our memories and histories for future generations, lest they fly away, as the house threatens to do. At nighttime, the artwork is a beacon of light, welcoming the public. 